This is Brian and Lane. Hey. From Engineering Lab 256, otherwise known as the Toy Box. Today we're going to show you how to install a processor. This is a ZIF socket. That stands for zero insertion force. It means that if the lever on the side is up and the processor is aligned correctly, it does not require any pressure for the processor to go in. You will note the arrow in the corner. We have blown this up so you can see it easier. On the processor, you will also see an arrow. Make sure the lever on the ZIF socket is up. Line the arrow on the processor with the arrow on the ZIF socket. Insert the processor. If it doesn't slide in easily, do not try to force it. Once the processor is in the socket, push the lever down. Around the ZIF socket is the heatsink retainer. The clips for the heatsink attach here and here. I typically put the static side on first. You, Lane? Yes, I do. Now, this is the heatsink that came with the processor. As such, it already has thermal paste on it. If you bought a third party heatsink without thermal paste, not to worry, we'll be covering heatsinks and thermal paste in a future episode. Okay, so put the side without the lever on first, then the other, and flip the lever down. Locate the power connector labeled CPU fan either on the board or in your motherboard's manual. And that's it. So easy Lane even lets me do it.